I'm Catherine Gunn from the film Born to Fly. I'm the director and one of the producers. I'm Elizabeth Streb, the subject of Born to Fly. My name is Tanya Selvaratnam, and I'm producer with Catherine Gunn. Kat came in, you know, with her whole team while we were preparing to do the London Summer Olympics 2012, the most extreme thing we've ever done, such as do spoke dances on the London Eye, such as jump off the Millennium Bridge, such as do something called Skywalk down City Hall. We believed that um, the investigation of action had to be rugged, brutal, intense, unpredictable, and really something that the human body would mostly be taught to veer away from. Well, Tanya and I have worked on films previously, and so when Elizabeth and I, who've known each other for a long time, kind of looked at each other and realized that we could bring our two artistic disciplines together, I went to Tanya and said, they're going to London, she's going to walk down City Hall, which is a huge, round, glass building. And Elizabeth walked down with two other dancers tied up on ropes. <laughs> I went to Tanya and I told her the idea and she was right in on it. So it was a strong collaboration from the beginning. And I think the idea was to really try to see if with film we could do something different with this action than just being present with the action and to try to get viewers to push themselves and question themselves as much as Elizabeth and her dancers do. The response has been outstanding. It's so exciting. I mean, and Elizabeth is so big and so famous to some of us, but it's still because of the nature of the work and that she's an artist. It's a small enclave of people who actually, you know, it's a large group given that she's one individual person. But when I bring the film places, people just say, how come I've never heard of it's her? It's a discovery. How come nobody's made a film yeah, about yeah. her before? The most beautiful part for me was when we shared the film with Streb and her company. To have the dancers there and to feel that energy it was so beautiful and th th that to me is the most exciting part, which is why we're excited to be here too, like sharing it with the world. People are coming out of it just reeling and feeling like their hearts well, beating they and move. they're sweating and <laughs> they want to move and they, they want to see something. what they can do and they yeah. want to, yeah. It, it, whereas like some films you go to and you, it's very, you become kind of introspective. This is a film you watch and you really want to like do something with your body. And the questions we ask are looking for, searching for. Could action be as profound as language? Could it be as deep and poetic as, as music? And our investigation culminated, I think, in this film and answers so many questions. I feel like that's what audiences are responding to, which has been really satisfying for us. I'm so excited to be here with them and with other members of my family because we're from Cleveland and because this festival, we've been making films for years and years, and this festival is such a filmmaker's festival and I always love it. I've shown three other films here. Um, it's, it, it's really, it's full of people who want to see movies and people who make them. I, I'm excited to meet the Cleveland audiences. It seems like there are a lot of people that come to this film festival. So many of the screenings are sold out, they've added screenings. It's great to be here, thank you guys.